My friends, you're going to learn how an alpha male walks. Alpha walking. You'll notice in this course that each lesson builds upon the next. The alpha mind to the alpha body. It's all interconnected and each one builds up for more and more power because the principles of the last few lessons on posture and body language apply to walking. So now we're going to take it, it's like building, it's like adding rocket fuel. Now we're going to add rocket fuel and actually take this in motion. And here's the thing about alpha walking. We walk with purpose and poise. We walk with strength and confidence. And most importantly, we are in complete control. That's, that's definitely a, a thing that you must understand. When you walk, you want to make sure that your, all of your quadrants, like we talked about last time, are in alignment and are in a strong posture, and then you want control. And so the foot itself should be straight. You land on the heel and you roll along the outer edge and push off on the ball of the foot. It shouldn't be like this. If this is a foot, it should be like this. Landing on the heel, rolling off the outer edge and pushing off on the ball. Now, when we walk, we don't, we don't fall and, and let the leg break our fall. Okay, I see so many times imbalanced walking. We want to walk as if we were a king. So let me ask you this. How would a king walk? How would a king walk? Do this? No. No, not how a king would walk. A king would walk like this. See? All my posture, everything aligned, knowing where I'm going. So when you walk, you walk like a king, and you control it. Now make sure that you control, remember all the quadrants, because if I'm walking like a king, but I have this one out, that's still not right, is it? Or how about this, swinging the arms too much, being goofy. So no, a slight movement of the arms is natural, like so. Walking like a king, Walking like a man in charge, walking with authority, walking with purpose. Everything that was in posture and in body language applies to walking, but now you're taking it in movement. Another very important thing is that you look like you know where you're going. Now, not just look like you know where you're going, but actually know where you're going. But if you don't know where you're going, look like it anyway. Now, this is hugely important because you probably notice a person you can tell, oh, they look lost. You shouldn't look lost. Let's say you go into a big casino and you're looking for a particular restaurant. You should calmly, confidently walk with boldness and purpose, walk straight up to a sign, look, observe, as if you were there working undercover as security. And you'll notice the sign, oh, that way to the Magiano's restaurant. Okay, great. Or ask him. You find an employee there and you say, where is the Magiano's restaurant? But you're confident. You're not like this. As you walk. So walk... Another thing, too, I want you to walk and remember this is to keep your peripheral vision. So you look like you know where you're going and you're looking straight forward. But as you're looking forward and you're walking with intention, power, and purpose, you're looking forward, but you notice everything in your peripheral. So I'm walking into the gas station. I'm looking forward. I notice the bum sitting there, the panhandler with the sign asking for money. I'm not looking at him. I'm looking straight forward. And when you do that, when you walk and you have peripheral vision and you, you take everything in, it actually exudes a power and a strength. The panhandler won't bother you. An attacker won't attack you when you look like you know where you're going. They tend to go in on the little lost, little lost Bambi in the woods, little lost Bambi off the subway in New York City. But when you look like you know where you're going, there's an energetic message there that, that says this per person is on a mission uh, let's leave them alone. And it's all energetic. It's subconscious. So keeping your peripheral and looking like you know where you're going. Another thing is don't walk with hands in your pockets. Never do this. Okay? You keep them out so they're ready, so they're moving. Would you ever see a king walking like this? No, 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 no. A king walks straight. They're in command. And they wear a cape. The king is in command. Remember that. You are a king as an unchained alpha male, and you are in command. So when you walk, walk upright, just like we talked about in posture, control, control the quadrants so that your head, neck is straight, your back is straight, your legs are straight, your feet are shoulder width apart, your feet are straight, and you're using the foot right, and you're not swinging the arms too wild. And then you don't want to bend over. That's another thing, a lot of people walking like this. So what do you lead with? You lead with this. You lead with this here, 
okay? You lead with your navel and then with your eyes. So those two things are leading. So watch my walk. See that? Now, when we don't peacock, we don't do this, you look like a tough guy, someone will ask you for a fight, someone will challenge that. But when, you, when you're walking strong and aware, people tend to step out of your way because you're the king and people part for the king. The waves part for the king. The king also attracts power. You radiate a magnetic power that literally influences people when you walk through a room or into a situation. So make your walking just like our posture, just like our body language. Add all those rules to your walking, but now you're doing it in movement. And you're making sure that you keep a complete balance so that you're straight and you're, and you're looking straight forward and you're keeping everything in your peripheral so you're aware of all, that's total awareness, and then you're keeping your quadrants in control. That's the thing, keeping it in control, up straight. Most people, when they're walking, they're leading with this. They're thinking about what they want, so they're, huh? Yeah, oh, where is it? Oh, no, 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 huh? King knows where he's going. Think of that command presence like the copper, the soldier. That's why they have a march. Left, 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 right, left. Why do they do that? Because it keeps them in order. It keeps them in unison, not just as a unit, but as an individual soldier. So walk straight, walk strong. That's your assignment. Walk straight and practice it even when you're alone. Yes, even when you're alone. Even if there's no one in the room, when you do this by yourself, it still makes you stronger. It's better, it's better for you. So even when you're alone, remind yourself to walk straight and strong and noble, and you'll feel a power, you'll feel a difference, and that is the unchained alpha male difference. Practice it daily.